On, shall we begin? CNN is ready? CNN is ready. Great. <laughs> We're live. <laughs> well, thanks for your dedication, really, to come, everyone, and care so much and be interested that much. My name is Dan Winter. As you know, the website is fractalfield.com and goldenmean.info. I particularly want to acknowledge my partner, Valerie Sandaline, who everyone knows makes it possible for us to run around and get in so much trouble. Valerie is from Sweden and Paris. And she's also happy to help you with uh, DVDs and books back there. And please, everyone, whatever arrangement you made for registration, sort it out with Valerie. Just be sure we're clear. Thank you so much. And I also want to thank Zakhirin for filmmaking and organizing here. Thank you, sir. So <clears throat> we're in beautiful Byron Bay, as our friends from South Africa who came all that way. My goodness. <laughs> um, and we're thinking of all the people in the rest of the world who are probably a little bit cold right now. And we'd like to tell you through the film that it's steamy here. <laughs> that this is the not exactly what you call no sweat. If you relax perfectly, then it doesn't create heat. And that's the good introduction of the principle of what is a fractal. <laughs> When you relax perfectly, you get compression without heat, and that is part of the metaphor of our day. So first, we will do a, a short outline of our agenda. Um, so this is a, an outline of the outline of the outline, which is very fractal. Um, first of all, the toilets are in the back. <laughs> Just so you know. We're going to take a break for lunch. Uh, probably we'll do either an hour and 15 minutes or an hour and a half. We'll probably break around 1. And then we'll talk about suggestions of where to go this place is around. Um, since there's fewer places around tomorrow, you might want to consider bringing your own lunch. It's up to you or do a picnic here anyway. There's a little kitchen in the back so people can play a bit. At least. And Zakyron knows the arrangements here in the facility very well. If anybody has any facilities or area questions, thank you, Zakyron. Um, so the description of our agenda, um, my idea was while it's morning and we're fresh and it's not too terribly hot, we really get ambitious, and for, for starters, we will actually try to do the serious science. So the first, you know, couple of hours, we will try to be fairly structured and actually outline in as disciplined a way as possible what I consider, what we consider to be the serious science, which is, in summary, what is the geometry, what is the shape that makes implosion and all centripetal forces possible? So the centripetal forces are consciousness, life force, gravity, color, perception. These phenomena in the universe which create apparent self-organization and apparent centripetal or implosive forces, they're all caused in this radical new model of physics, and I emphasize physics, um, by a simple singular geometry. Valerie, could you just grab the star mother for me? And uh, so that simple singular geometry is the stellated dodeca that creates the golden ratio in 3D which we believe is literally, precisely, a map of everything from hydrogen, DNA, the galaxy stars, and how photons make color, and how your brain creates perception. Literally, precisely, and we don't mean, you know, poetic metaphor. No, we mean serious, powerful, radical, new physics of all self-organizing, unified field stuff. <laughs> so we're going to pretend to be a little bit ambitious and actually understand that. So that's, that's our little plan, is that we uh, try to do the core science this morning. Then, then late morning or early afternoon, it's sort of the opposite of that. It's a relaxed free-for-all, let's introduce each other, and let's talk about whatever you came here to talk about, free conversation, really. You know, so we want to, this, this is your time, thank you for investing that time to join us. And so be sure to tell us what it is you want to talk about. Cool. You know? So we'll have that free kind of really open conversation late morning, early afternoon. And then hmm, afternoon today is planned the sort of <laughs> science of DNA followed by history of DNA story. <laughs> Why is DNA so popular in this galaxy? <laughs> and uh, you know, how does it work mechanically that DNA creates soul, that plasma tornado through the center, the braiding process? Why is it that DNA actually physically responds electrically to the presence of human bliss and what happens to DNA in that electric field of human bliss that makes soul and shamanic astral plasma projection possible and all that cool stuff. So we're going to look at the science of DNA, 
early afternoon. And then late afternoon today, as we're getting tired in today, we do storytelling. And the storytelling is a short, brief, quote unquote, history of DNA, where we go into the, the, the stellar story of ancestor of DNA. And we may hopefully get a little time we'll talking about the aboriginal story of origin. We have some experts in the room. Jenny is here, and Dave is here, and others. Uh, have, and, uh, and Michael. And uh, so, and John, sorry. And uh, so, uh, at the end of the day, closing that little history story, the sort of uh, shamanic recapitulation, could be a word for that, where, you know, at the end of your day, when you go to bed, if you can relax enough to remember your whole day in sequence, then um, if you can play your day as if it were a movie, Gerd just talked this, just before you sleep, if you can play that movie without interrupting it, that's very hard to do. As you close your eyes, you can play your day like it's a movie. As you can play the day like a movie without interrupting it, that means you've relaxed enough to process all the emotions and let it be. <laughs> In other words, the emotion has become shareable. It's not going to distract you anymore. Everything there is shareable. It's been processed. Now you can go to sleep, and the collective mind can absorb that material. That's called shamanic recapitulation. It means you've digested your day. And we're going to talk about the physics of digestion as perfected compression. And that's what's happened is when the compression is perfect, the distribution happens, and so the karma is sorted as they say after a fight in an Irish bar. <laughs> yes. Yes, that, that, that is our first, our very first slide here, dear, that, that this particular geometry, one and only one geometry, and the model is here, the star, star mother, is the electric cause and mechanism, origin of gravity, life force, perception, bliss, the origin of color, and we're going to explain uh, that it's the origin of time, that time is also fractal for that reason. So that is the core science of today, is to try to make some sense of this in serious physics terms, but also gentle, playful terms that are available to the non-scientists. Yes, sir? If you really run a <laughs> yes, and if you, say, if you phase conjugate backwards, <laughs> a friend of mine was a phase conjugate optics guy at Roswell Park uh, Institute in Buffalo, New York, uh, Bob Suwada, really honor him. He taught me about phase conjugation. And when you called him, his answering machine says, well, please leave a message and I will phase conjugate back to you in the near past. <laughs> <laughs> yes, go ahead. How do you want to handle Yes, questions. Um, what I'd like to suggest is for the first part today, we try to try to stay a little bit on topic. So for the first couple of hours when we try to sort through the science, questions are invited, but hopefully a little bit on topic. But then later in the morning and after early afternoon is the free-for-all. We talk about whatever is fun. Okay? So questions are always invited, but for the first little segment, hopefully the questions are a little bit focused. That's all I'm asking. Yep. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Not in her mind, but that, that's a wonderful question and, and not a bad way to get started. So uh, uh, let's play with it. Um, you know, Nassim Haramin, for people who don't know, the resonanceproject.org, he's doing some wonderful work with fundamental physics. And um, he was kind enough, he came and presented at both of our inter international fundamental physics conference in Budapest along with Elizabeth Rauscher and now Pat Flanagan is involved, and many international physicists, Richard Amoroso. And then uh, Nassim was a lead presenter at our most recent conference that sponsored this tour in Calgary, the Breakthrough-Technologies.com. And so we've had a lot of fun, and Nassim is very close to Valerie as well. Um, in the first Fundamental Physics Conference of Budapest, there were events like people standing up and shooting the moon at other physicists and screaming <laughs> arguments, I will mention gently. <laughs> I'm not going to mention any names, but it was extremely <laughs> colorful. Uh, <laughs> and uh, for no, it was not the scene. That's it was not that. <laughs> but it was very colorful event. Uh -huh. um, the screaming arguments 